I've started to work on this uh, Gibson Girl blouse pattern. I started on this after seeing uh, Bella May Designs work on it. It was really cute. And so this is the only thing I've sewn in the past while, but it is my first attempt at lace insertion and I am very extremely proud of it. Don't mind the weird color shifts in the background because as you can see, uh, this table has been highly painted on. It's trying its best. It's not very good. So now it's time for voiceover NAMI, and the very first step that I did for the lace insertion was I actually traced out the designs where the insertion goes in Sharpie so I could see it through the fabric and then pin the lace like I'm doing here onto the sections where the insertion is needed but I can see the marks through the fabric since it was slightly transparent. Obviously you can't see it very much from this angle. Also, um, sorry about the background noise, I am not very good at YouTube and uh, people, we have people over uh, redoing our bathroom in our house, so that's great. Also, uh, don't mind the background pirates. I hope I don't get copyright struck on that. It's not my fault. Next up in lace insertion, by the way, was uh, basting this on so you just wouldn't have a bajillion pins around for the whole time because that would have sucked. So here is me, patiently hand sewing. And now it's sewing machine time. So, um, oh my god, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm surging. So, uh, up until this point, I had just been dealing with all of my fray bits and this was the point where I got annoyed enough to actually re-thread my serger. It had been threaded with what yellow or red for the last like half a year but finally fixed it and surging surging surging. It was around this time that I got annoyed with the lace insertion so I took a quick break mm -hmm. to uh, gather pieces mm -hmm. of lace that would mm -hmm. go onto the collar and so this, I wanted to make the collar entirely out of lace, so I gathered um, the, like, one piece that would be that little ruffle thingy on top, and it's, we'll give it go. It's just, honestly, it was really fascinating to watch the lace ruffle, or ruffle the lace. It was just fun. I had a good time, as you can see by my concentrated face in the corner. And next up was snipping away the fabric in the back. So uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. I cut out the corners and cut into the corners as needed to make sure everything would be able to turn smoothly. And then after that, initially I started by like, you know, pinning everything nicely so I could sew it with the pins in and, you know, be a uh, responsible, responsible sewist. Um, hubris struck way through this project and I just you know stopped pitting and just started winging it which was a decision. Another thing to note is that I do go back and actually cut the um the strawberry tool fabric out as well. I just don't have footage of that because I just deleted it earlier because it was annoying me. Uh next step is an action that I will soon ah uh, yes 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 I am sewing the yoke on uh, I did I made the yokes out of just the tool so they would be transparent and fun and aesthetic and you know fashion details and all that jazz and so here I am you know just uh, sewing that on and wow look at that I pinned all of them but I still sew over my pins like a gremlin so on the one hand uh, yay for pinning your fabric together before sewing but on the other hand rip for sewing over pins because uh Apparently you're not supposed to do that, and um, I've been sewing for like more than 10 years and I still do that. And uh, what's this? What's this? I have no idea what's happening anymore. Um, hello? Sir? What are you? I genuinely don't know what that was. Oh! We're doing shoulder seams. Shoulder seams. Nice. And it is the time we all love. Sleeveles! Um, Hilariously, these sleeves did not give me a single problem. It was, you know, a lot of straightforward gathering stitches and then cuffs and then gathering stitches and insert the sleeve head. And, you know, for all that everybody screams about how evil sleeves are, I tend to not hate them typically. This is me just uh, sewing that cuff in. Uh, maybe one day I'll be able to record a sewing clip that doesn't have my face in it like this. But also that's this is exactly how I sew. I basically like will press my forehead against the sewing machine and watch because I am blind as a bat. Oh, and here is an absolute miracle. I actually hem this. Is I usually am so terrible at finishing and what you'll notice is that this blouse itself actually does not have closures on it yet because I am a gremlin. I have been wearing it safety pinned on, but that was me putting in a hem. And then this is uh, hand sewing the lace collar pieces together. Um, 
This took a pretty long time, but it was actually pretty zen. But after I finished the section is when hubris struck once more and I got annoyed and decided that instead of hand sewing the ruffle on as well, the ruffle lace to the lace collar, that I would just machine sew it. And here's me just, you know, recklessly machine sewing and uh, it turned out fine this time, but it usually doesn't. And finally, I'm actually folding up the back edge of the blouse and hemming that as well. Um, do I put buttons or closures on it? Absolutely not. But do I hem it? Yes, because I am kind of being a good sewist. Good sewist adjacent. And we are now in the home stretch. I am, you know, just sewing the collar onto the yoke. And this is once again where I am filled with hubris. And I just, I pinned half of it. And then I didn't pin the second half. And I ended up having to sew the second half about four times. And is anybody surprised? Because I'm not. Um, we are at the end of the video here. There is one more clip of me uh, hand sewing some lace onto the bottom edge of the yoke to just, you know, I had just enough to add it on. So I added it on. Uh, but thank you for watching this video. Um, I haven't actually made a uh, costume video on YouTube yet, so I am so excited to officially jump into costume, and uh, I hope you keep watching my videos. Hopefully I'll, you know, actually make an intro and an outro one day and learn how to edit, but for now, um, enjoy this musicless masterpiece. Haha! <laughs> Thanks for watching!